Okay, hi Booktube, Aaron here, hope you're doing okay. I'm going to do a, a tag today, it's been a little while since I've done one and I, I feel I've fallen a little behind with the with the tags I want to do. Um, so I'm going to try and get on back on track today with this one. And it's a, a, a nice, fairly simple uh, tag to go through. And it's the Reading Pet Peeves tag, which was, um, uh, I suppose, weaponized into a tag by Alan from... Uh, big hard books and classics and um, it had been a bit of a I suppose like a discussion video that had been bouncing around and uh, Alan sort of turned it into a into a bit of a tag and um, he, he mentioned those people in the video and said if, if you're mentioned then you're tagged and um, so I suppose by that measure I was tagged by Alan uh, but I've also been uh, tagged um, a, a little more formally by uh, Mark from Book Time with Elvis, and also by Micah Cummings as well. Um, so I'll have all of them um, and their videos linked in the description. Um, and there's only only eight prompts really, so um, nice and simple. So I'll just run through them now. Uh, so the first prompt is, uh, do you use or read along with audiobooks? Um, and I, I don't really uh, read audiobooks. Um, I've, or I've, I've listened to audiobooks in the past, um, when I was uh, a kid, uh, me and my my brother used to share a bedroom, and um, he was well. We we're both really into Doctor Who, uh, but he he kept getting given these Doctor Who audiobooks, um, so they used to be on all the time uh, in our bedroom, um, and so um, um, yeah, I, I knew those books inside out. Uh, but then I'd go and actually find the physical book, and I'd realise that the audiobook was. Um, was abridged so the whole things in that audiobook that I am um, you know I, I just didn't get so, so that was quite cool to, to see the two different versions and also I was able to get through the physical book really quickly just because of how how well I knew most of it from the audiobook um, and actually at the moment I also um because the, the main reason I don't listen to audiobooks is because um when I've got my headphones on and I want to listen to something I want to um maybe try something else whether it's a podcast or listening to music so um that's kind of one of the main reasons why I don't really listen to audiobooks just to get something else uh, but one of the podcasts that I listen to um pretty often is the history of literature um, and quite often um on, on that podcast if they're talking about a, a short story uh, then the presenter will read the whole short story and then there'll be a discussion afterwards um, so there have been quite a few short stories, some I've read before and, and some uh, that I, I really want to get to um, to, to read uh, physically um, just because I've encountered them on, on the podcast. So there have been, I mean, there's been some, uh, some of the, the Dubliners stories by James Joyce uh, that I want to revisit. Uh, there have been uh, Chekhov short stories and there was The Lottery by Shirley Jackson, which I'd read before as well. Um, so, um, yeah, I suppose that kind of counts as audiobooks as well. Um, that's the, the closest I get. Uh, so, yeah, I've been <laughs> rambling along quite a lot with that first question. So I'll, I'll try and get back on track now. Number two, do you utilise your local library? Um, I, I don't really. Um, I've uh, only in the last few weeks actually just picked up a library card. And I'm, I'm hoping, you know, in the coming months to try and use it a little bit. Uh, maybe not for my main reading, but just to um, try things out a bit. Um, I actually, um, since I mentioned Micah earlier, um, I, I noticed that he he gets out loads of books from the library and he, he uses it as a way to try out books because it's free. So he can dip in and out of, of I think, mainly history books and get a sense of what books he really wants to read. And I thought that was quite a good idea. So I might try something close to that and, and actually my local library the history section is probably one of the most interesting sections and um, there's some interesting sort of literature and you know, sort of classics and things but um i think it's like the history uh, where um i don't know there must be someone some people in the area who just are really into that sort of stuff and so it's pretty well stocked uh number three is do you dnf books so um do, do you mark books down as books you did not finish um, and I don't really do this um, there, there are books that I've, I've put down for a short amount of time just because I'm taking them at 
quite a slow pace or dipping in and out. Um, but the last time I actually, I actually DNF'd a book and I, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to read this again was, it was before COVID. It was probably in the autumn or winter of 2019 or, or maybe the very beginning of 2020. Um, and it was a book called, um, I can't remember it. It's got, um, like this kind of Roman mosaic cover. Is it the blood of the martyrs? Yeah. The blood of the martyrs. I, I can't remember the name of the author. Um, and it's, uh, historical fiction book about um, the reign of Nero and about uh, early Christianity uh, and the author is trying to link that to uh, when she was writing which was 1930s Britain um, and sort of making links between uh, persecuted groups um, you know in as things are gearing up towards the second world war um, and I, I just thought it was a bit heavy-handed and a bit um, I don't know I wasn't really getting on with it very well and it was annoying me a lot so <laughs> I decided not to finish it uh, but since then I've slugged on with with, <laughs> with every other book uh, number four is uh, do you read multiple books at the same time um, and I think the last few uh, tags I've done this kind of questions come up uh, but I'll, I'll go over it again uh, yes I, I do read multiple books at once and uh, so I'm, I'm currently reading four books um, so I'm reading some poetry by Paul Celan, uh, which is very sad, but kind of ethereal and really good. Um, I'm also reading Vertigo by W.G. Sebold as a kind of counterpoint for Sheikh Temba, just another writer beginning with S that I really love. Um, and about halfway through Vertigo, it's really good. Um, reading the aforementioned Shakespeare, <laughs> um, going through his poetry for Sheikh Temba, and I've read all of the, uh, well, or both of the sort of longer, more narrative poems and moving into the sonnets now. And it's, um, yeah, it's been really good. And the critical apparatus in this um, Oxford um, World Classics edition is really good. Um, and then I'm also really, really slowly at a snail's pace, making my way through Remembrance of Things Past by Marcel Proust. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I'm reading at the moment. Um, I... I tend to try and keep it around three or four books at once but it has strayed upwards of that um, in, in the past um, and then number five is do you make time or have a specific time in your day devoted to reading um, and it can sort of change from day to day on a on a working day um, I try to read if it's not too busy on the train um, I will read on the train but I also try to get in um, a little early you know, before I have to start work um, so I can have at least 15-20 minutes of reading time uh, before I uh, walk into work just so I can I don't know it's nice to just reset and have that time um, but I, I tend to try and get at least half an hour's reading in every day and normally when I'm working it's sort of the commuting and the time just before work that where I get most of it done um, other than that, it's just when I feel like it, um, but generally in the evening, maybe an hour or two. Number six, uh, do you dog ear books? I have in the past. Um, let's see. Um, I think I've shown this before. Just one second. So this is my uh, edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And there is, I think there still are pages that are dog. Oh, no, I think I've, I've gone through and unfolded them now. Um, but the, 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 maybe one of the last times I showed this on my channel, um, I was showing you that I dog-eared some of the pages, and there are even dog-eared dog-ears, <laughs> where I don't know that the page had kind of turned into some kind of origami, um, just, <laughs> I don't really know why. Um, I think it's because I was um, using it for an essay or something at uni, um, so I was, I was trying to be <laughs> really obvious with the pages that I wanted to pay attention to, um, but... Um, yeah, I don't do it all the time, um, but I'm, I don't have any aversion to it, I suppose. Number seven, do you annotate your books? Um, and I do from time to time. I, again, I like the dog earring. I, it's, it's just when I sort of need to or I feel it's appropriate. Um, so with this um, book of Shakespeare's poems, particularly in the introductions, I've been marking certain passages. Um, but again, it's not too... 
intrusive. It's just the odd, you know, sort of um, little sort of, um, I don't know what you'd call it, but, you know, I'm just marking down sections of paragraphs or every now and then I might underline parts of a paragraph for future reference. And I, I do that with certain passages in the poems as well, if it, if it strikes me um, as appropriate. Um, but again, there's no like rhyme or reason to it. Um, and generally what I try to do, in, instead of annotating them, although I, you know, I'm not dead set against an annotating my books, uh, but I've got sort of devoted notebooks for my reading. So I've got one for uh, general reading. Um, and I don't write my thoughts about every book, um, but um, as often as I can, I, I just try to you know, get my thoughts about a book in order um, in my notebook. And I've also got a dedicated notebook for Proust because it kind of helps make me make sense <laughs> of, of, of what I'm going through there. And then number eight, uh, the last prompt is, how do you feel about spoilers? Um, I, I don't really mind too much about them. Um, I'm, I'm not a massive uh, plot reader, or I think I've said before that maybe one of the things that can kind of get in the way of my reading is trying to work out the plot, and it, it kind of stops me from engaging with the books in other ways. So in a way, it is the thing I read for, but it kind of gets in the way at the same time. Um, and so if I, in a way, if I already know the story, it's kind of helping me out a bit because then I can engage with the book on other levels. Um, so I'm, again, I'm not dead set against spoilers. There's certain things that might be a little bit annoying, um, but um, yeah, if, if I already know the story, part of the fun um, is also connecting the dots between what you've already been told and the things you haven't been told yet. Um, so that there's always plenty of fun things that you can get out of a book, even if you've had um, <laughs> had it ruined by someone else. Um, but there we go, there's uh, the, the Reading Pet Peeves tag. I thought it'd be nice and short, but I've probably rambled on a fair bit. Uh, but before I go, I'm going to tag um, a miscellany of people. Um, so I will tag Jason from the channel of The Disappointed Man. Um, he's, I think, tagged me in a couple of things recently and I, I need to get through <laughs> to doing those tags. Um, I'll also tag Garrett from the uh, Poetic Artifacts. Um, he also tagged me recently and he's got a great uh, little channel. So I would uh, encourage you, if you haven't um, subscribed to, to Garrett yet, if you're, if you're into poetry or just into someone who's, who's very relaxed and just wants to talk quietly about books, <laughs> much like myself, I suppose, uh, then check out Garrett. Um, I'll also tag uh, Alice from Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. I don't think she's done this yet. Um, and again, I'll, I'll tag Kelly from Books I'm Not Reading, because uh, I don't believe she's done that uh, this tag yet either. And I'll also tag uh, Katerina from uh, Dejection Cat Reads. Um, and so um, I'll have all of these channels linked in the description for you. Um, and as well, if you're watching this and haven't done this tag yet, then please feel free to do it. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's everything. Hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you soon.